Sorry about that. We're running just a minute behind getting going here. Good morning, Craig. We're coming through loud and clear. Audio and video here. All right, perfect. Okay, well, sorry about the uh, delay there. Had a little bit of uh, technical difficulty there, so we're going to get jumping in here. I don't want to keep you too long, so just uh, bear with me for one second here. Hope everybody had a great holiday last week and a great Thanksgiving and uh, enjoyed a few days off there from, from trading. We all need that from time to time. So hope everybody uh, had a good one and a safe one. So today we're going to talk about trading stock indices live using in the money strategies with Nadex. Sandrine says only in the USA. <laughs> all right. Well, I guess she's not in the US here. She might not have had a some time off for the Thanksgiving holiday, but uh, some of the U.S. markets were closed and some of us here in the U.S. enjoyed a couple of days off. So anyway, appreciate you joining us today. I'm going to get our uh, recording here going. So welcome to the Nadex Application and Strategy Webinar Series. My name is John Skelton. I'm going to talk today about how to use some of the capped risk Nadex products and trade the stock indices, we're talking about the U.S. stock indices today live using some in the money strategies. So let's get our disclosures knocked out here. Trading futures options or any financial instrument involves risk, may not be suitable for every investor. The information here in this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. It is not an offer or a solicitation of an offer to buy or sell any particular financial instrument offered by Nadex. And past performance is not indicative of future results. So again, Apex and Nadex, two complete different companies here. Nadex is an exchange. Apex, we're an online company of traders helping traders. We're an edu education-based company. We've got over 20,000 members. We're um, a Nadex education partner. We do these webinars each week. Uh, I've been with Nadex for about three years now as head of operations. I have a background as a stockbroker and in the banking industry. And, I'm an educator, but I'm a trader just like you. I trade Nadex binaries and spreads on a daily basis. We trade them all the time over at Apex. We love the capitalist products offered by Nadex. And uh, so what we're here to do is just kind of offer you some free education on, you know, who is Nadex, what is Nadex, how do Nadex binaries and spreads work, and just kind of give you an idea of some different ways that we trade them as well and some ways that you can implement trading the Nadex products into your strategies and systems. So we're going to talk a little bit about trading stock indices live, how to read the markets, making sure you're aware of news. We're going to talk about understanding binary premium and pricing and some potential entries and exits and how to manage some trades. So when it comes to trading the indices or trading Nadex binaries, there's a ton of different ways that you can do that. If you've seen some of our past webinars here, you've seen me talk about multiple strategies and systems, and uh, you know we don't have time to talk about all of them, obviously. And what you've got to do is take what you can from each one, see which one best fits your you know, particular trading style and personality. So I want to show you a little bit here, and uh, let me pull over a chart here. I want to show you just one particular way that um, that we do that and one of my uh, kind of favorite strategies here and don't be overwhelmed by this chart here I'm gonna walk you through this chart just a little bit if you've been with us in the past you've uh, you've seen this chart before and you've seen some of these indicators before and I just want to make one quick change to this chart and I'm gonna kind of show you a quick setup here and show you some ways that we could trade it and we'll check and see if there's any um, setup setting up right now here in just a moment, okay. Um, what I want to talk to you about today is if you've been with us the last couple weeks, you've heard me talk about our VAD indicator, so we call our Volume Accumulation Distribution Indicator. That's it. This indicator right here, okay. This is a proprietary apex indicator. It looks a lot like a volume indicator, but as I mentioned before, it doesn't measure the volume of each bar. It measures the volume within a trend, the accumulated volume within a trend, so that you can kind of get an idea of what is happening in that trend. And we've talked several times, <clears throat> excuse me, we've talked several times about how that can be helpful in understanding kind of the exhaustion of a market, meaning is a market ex exhausted, okay? And if you imagine yourself running up a hill 
and you know you're you're going fast, you're going fast, you're 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 running strong. But as you get to the top of the hill, you know you you don't quite have as much energy left in you there, right? You don't quite have as much energy, and you're slowing down. You don't have quite as much push to you going up that hill, and that's what we're looking for here with this particular indicator, and. An example of that would be right here, for example. See these up close bars showing this kind of push up of the market here? Okay, showing you how much volume was in this up push here. Then notice when you have the next up close bar here, see the blue and the blue? Notice there's not quite as much push there. You see that? And it didn't even make as high of a high there. And then what happens? The market kind of comes down. See that? See back over here where there was a big push up and it made a big push up? And then right here, it went even higher. The market went even higher, but with less accumulated volume. It was running out of steam. All right. And as we see a market running out of steam or we see a market making higher highs with less steam, you know, we, we have a good heads up that, hey, maybe the market's going to kind of stop here. Maybe it's going to hesitate here or maybe it's going to reverse. Right. So that's what I'm kind of looking for here in this particular scenario and setup. Okay, so what I want to talk to you about today is the Nadex 20 minute binaries. All right, if you come over here to the Nadex platform and you can go down right here to 20 minute binaries. Okay, and if you pull up indices, you'll see that on the four US stock indices, Nadex offers 20 minute binaries. And what that means is a new binary opens and expires every 20 minutes. Okay, and I believe these run from 10 a.m. as the first expiration through, I believe, 4 p.m. Okay, so especially if you're a short-term trader, you don't have a lot of time to trade or sit in front of your computer all day long, 20-minute um, binaries can be a great thing to look at because you've got multiple expirations. And if you go to the Nadex platform and you go under Finder, that's where you can see them there. Notice. Some people say, hey, I don't, I don't see those 20-minute binaries. I go right here under Indice Binaries, and all I see is you know, the two hours, the daily, and the weeklies. Okay, well, just a quick tip here. They're right here under 20-minute binaries. They're down below. Just like if you're trading the five-minute binaries on Forex, they're not listed here under the Forex. They're listed down here. All right, so be sure if you're looking for these 20-minute binaries that you know right where to find them there on the Nadex website, okay? So I'm gonna use some examples today of the 20 minute binaries is what we're looking for here, okay? And so let me just pull up, let's just pull up a live chart real quick. Let's just look and see where we're going right here. Okay, we might have a potential setup coming up here in just a few moments. Look what happened here as the market's coming up, okay? See it made a big push up here? See that volume? Now it's making an even higher push, okay? Higher push with less volume. You see that? So we're gonna wait and see what happens there with this, when this particular bar closes. And we'll look and see if there might be a, a potential trade set up there. But uh, let's look back here. I've got an example I wanna show you here. And let's look back here to, um, let's see here, November 25th. Let's just go back here. I want to show you kind of a setup here while we're waiting to see if that one sets up. So we're here on November 25th. And notice these squares that are on my chart. Okay. Notice these squares here. See how see these squares here? These are what we call our expected ranges. This kind of shows the expected range of the market high to low but I have them set on 20 minutes. And what it does for me is it kind of shows me where a binary expires. Like right here, see the timestamp on the bottom? The start of this box here started about 9.40 and ends at, um, when this bar closes at 10 o'clock. So it kind of shows me some expirations there. I also see right here, this is 10 o'clock to 10.20, all right? so. If I was looking this day at trading the 20 minute binaries and I was looking at the 1020 expiration, okay, notice as the market popped up here, okay, we see where the volume is. And then notice as it made a higher high on less volume. 
You see that? So if I was watching this live and I saw it making a higher high on less volume, and then right here I have this down close bar. Okay, notice the timestamp on the bottom. This bar closed at 10.09. So I've got about 10 minutes to go for the 10.20 expiration, right? So if I wanted to trade a 20 minute binary that expired at this 10.20 expiration here, okay, what could I have done there? All right, if I was looking at that particular setup, and what I was wanting to look at was in the money options, all right? Well, what I would first of all do is I would have pulled up my Nadex platform here, and I would have gone down to 20-minute binaries, and I would have looked at, to see what was available, okay? I would have had my strike ladder here, and I could see all the different strikes available, okay? And I would see that I've got, you know, in the money, out of the money, and at the money options. All right, but what I'm looking for for this particular strategy is I'm looking for in the money uh, binaries, okay? So I would see my options here on the price ladder. I could also go right here and very quickly open a price ladder chart on the Nadex platform. This helps me have a much better visual. I mean, I can see the list of strikes here that are available to me, but you know, opening up the strike ladder chart really helps me see it um, on a chart to really know what I'm looking at here and what my different options are, okay? So for example, if I was to pull up this one right now, let me just pull this over here, okay? So what I could do is I could pull up a binary uh, chart ladder, binary ladder chart to be able to see it right on the chart, okay? So very, very easy to do there. So. I pulled up, the, um, pulled up the ladder, I saw my different options, I opened up a ladder chart, okay? And so I see that the market is here right now. Remember we saw the market coming up and then we had that down close bar. So I see all my different options here, okay? And I'm looking for something that's in the money. Now if some of you are kind of new to Nadex or new to binaries and you're not quite sure what in the money means, just bear with us, I'm going to show you where you can go back and watch some webinars that will explain to you exactly what out of the money and in the money binaries are. But what we're looking for is a binary that's already in the money. Okay, here's a little bit closer view. Basically, what, you know, just real quick, what is a binary? Well, each one of these strikes that are listed right here, 48.94.5, 93.5, each one of these is a different binary contract. And all a binary contract is, is simply a statement. Right here, it says that the US Tech 100 will expire greater than 4890.5 at 12 p.m. So it's just a statement saying this market will expire greater than this price. If I believe, yes, that statement's true, I'm going to buy it. If I think, no, that statement's false, it'll expire below there, then I'm going to sell it, okay? So just back to the binary chart here. For example, the market's right here. If I were to sell this strike right here, I'm saying the market will be below this at 1020 when it expires, which means the market still has to move down. But what I'm looking for as far as in the money, when I say in the money uh, trading, what I'm looking for is a strike where the market, where the statement's already true, meaning the market's already below that. So for example, I've got right here the 4862 strike. I can sell it for $33. Very easy to see on my chart. The market is right here. I can sell right here saying the market will expire below this price by 1020. Remember when I had this set up, it was about 1009. So I've only got 10 minutes to go. So as long as the market stays down here and keeps going down, or if the market stays right here where it is and doesn't move, Either way, it still will expire below this strike. The market could even pop up a little bit and expire right here, okay? As long as it expires below that 4862 strike, it will still expire in the money if I sell it. So I've got this option here of 4862, or if I wanted a little bit more insurance. I, you know, I felt pretty good about my signal setup. 
but maybe I wanted a little bit more insurance. I want to give myself a little bit more room. I could sell this strike here, the 4864. I could sell it for $23.25. That gives me a pretty good amount of room there, right? So either one of those options would have been in the money, either 4862 or 4864. So if we look at that here on the chart, we saw the market pop up, we saw it go up even higher with less volume, we have a down close bar, okay? And when this bar closed, you can see over there to the right, it closed at about 48.58. So the 62 strike would have been right here, or the 64 strike would have been up here, okay? So I might be looking at this, and I could choose to go either way, all right? So it's just a matter of do I want a little more insurance, kind of more here at the top of this you know, bar, where the market kind of made the top, or do I want to go a little bit less here? I could go either way. All right, that's um, strictly up to the trader, strictly up to you know what kind of risk reward you're looking at doing here. So just as a quick example, I entered the 48.64, okay, and market popped up just a little bit. I was able to sell it for 29.75, okay. So I entered the order right there, at, and I had about 17 minutes left to go here, actually. Uh, because that bar didn't close till 10.09, but uh, I saw that coming down. I've got it at about 17 minutes to expiration there. Again, I could have taken the 48.62 strike. It's also an in the money, but a little less room there, okay, a little less insurance. I could go either way, but where would I exit, all right? The one thing that I like to do is when I'm looking at um, in the money binaries, Let's take a look here. Look at the binaries right here. Where is the market? It's at 48.93. Well, where is, where is a binary that's around 48.93? Right here. And notice where this binary is priced at. And this 48.92, okay? The market's kind of in between these two binaries. Notice it's priced around 50 bucks. That's what we call an at the money binary. Okay, again, I'll show you where you can get some more information on that. That's called an at the money binary. Something we know that whether there's 20 minutes to expiration or one hour to expiration or one week till expiration, if the market, if the indicative price is right close to the strike price, that binary is going to be priced around approximately $50, okay? Because at expiration, a binary either has to be worth zero or 100. So, if the market's kind of right there at the same price as the strike, it's kind of 50-50. It's right around 50 bucks. It's right in the middle. Is it going to expire above and be worth 100 or expire below and be worth zero? So we know that when the market and the strikes are equal, they're worth about 50 bucks. So what does that tell me? What does that help me do? Well, what that helps me do is when I'm looking here at this price ladder with Nadex, if I were to sell this binary, at $23, okay? And I want the market to stay below here and so that it expires profitable and I make a profit of $23. Well, what if I'm wrong? And what if the market starts to come up? And what if, you know, before expiration, the market comes up to this strike of 48.64? What do we know that that binary is gonna be worth approximately? Any takers? Anybody answer that question? Because the market's down here right now. If it pops back up and the market is equal to my strike, the binary would be priced around, yes, exactly. Everybody's got it right, about $50. So something I'm looking to do is if I'm in a trade, you know, fortunately, Nadex has capped risk products. So going into the trade, you know exactly what you're risking and exactly what your max risk is. But just because there's a max risk and you know what it is and it's capped, does that mean you always want to take a full loss? Not necessarily. Maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't. That's totally up to you. In this particular strategy, if I sell this binary here for 23.25, what is the most that I can make on that binary? 23.25, right? Let's look at a quick example here. Let's look at, for example, this binary. 
just on the current market right here. If I was to go in and I want to buy or sell this binary, you see the different prices there. So this is an in the money binary if I'm selling it, right? And the amount that I would sell it for is the amount that I can profit on it, right? So if I sold it for $30.50, the most I can make is $30.50. But what am I risking? My risk is almost 70 bucks. So what is my risk to reward ratio here? I'm risking 70 to make 30. So I've got a very high probability binary, right? Because I'm getting the one way up here with a lot of insurance. But that's not that may not be giving me the greatest risk to reward ratio that I'm looking for, right? Risking 70 to make 30. I might want a little bit better risk to reward ratio. So let's say I wanted to go for a one to one risk reward ratio. I want to risk approximately 25 to make approximately 25. Okay? So if the market were to pop back up here to 48.64, I know this binary is worth what? We just said it a minute ago, about 50 bucks. So my exit plan could be that I'm going to sell this binary here, wanting the market to expire. So the market could keep it below it. So the market could keep going down. The market could stay where it is down here. Or the market could even come right back up here and expire right here. But I'd still be profitable at expiration as long as it stayed below this price. But if it hit this price of 48.64, if it got back up to this end the money strike, I could exit this trade at approximately $50, right? So if I had to exit this trade at 50, how much would I be, how much would I have lost on that trade? If so I sold it for 23, if I got out of it for approximately 50, yeah, about 27 bucks. So if I followed that trade plan, I'd be risking about 27 to make about 23. It's close to a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio, right? So when I'm looking at these in the money binaries, that's something I'm looking at is where could I exit? Now I could have taken this particular strike here, the 4862, it was also in the money, but it was a little bit closer, okay? But where would I exit? Well, because if I'm selling it for 33, I mean, would I exit when I have it was down 33, like, you know, when the price was at 66. I mean, I could do that to try to maintain a, still maintain a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. But, you know, when I'm looking to exit a binary, I'm looking to exit at a strike, not a price, because the price could move very quickly. If this was close to expiration, it can move very quickly towards zero or 100, right? And it can very quickly move against me as far as my loss there if I'm just exiting based on a price. But I know at a strike, it's gonna be at 50 until right at expiration. So that's why I chose that particular binary up here. It gave me a little more room in insurance and I was going to exit it based on the strike being right at 50. Because if I let this strike get hit right at 50, I've only got $17 of room there, right? So I could get hit a lot quicker here. So we entered the trade and now we're starting to be profitable, right? We saw the trade set up here. The market had uh, popped up here, had popped up here. We entered. And then we see another down close bar and another down close bar coming into this 1020 expiration time. So we see that the market was coming down here, right? So it was going our direction and we see that we entered the trade, we see it start to be profitable. We're up $9.75 here. And then right here, we've got nine minutes and 56 seconds left. And look where we're at here. Now we're at $24.75 in profit. Okay, we've only got about five more dollars that we can even make here. We're coming up into our max profit, right? So what are we looking at here? 
do we exit the trade? Do we say, hey, we're almost at max profit. There's only five more dollars we can make. Do we hold on to the trade to try to get every dollar we can out of it? Well, some people would say, oh, I want to wait and try to get every little bit. Some people say, nope, I'm going to exit right there and move on. So, you know, how much more time do we have and how much do we really have to gain? Okay, let's take a look here. Where is that strike at? Right here. It's 48.64. Okay, we only got five more dollars. What if the market moved another two points down? That binary is still only priced at five dollars. What if it went another two points, another two? See the strike ladder here? This can kind of show you that even if the market moves quite a bit more, you're not going to get much more out of that until it actually expires. You're going to have to actually hold it until expiration to get those last few dollars. Okay? So that's totally up to you. Okay? Um, there's two lines of thought there of hold it and get another four or five dollars. Or, hey, what if right at expiration the market shoots back against you and you can't get out of it and you just lost your whole $70 risk? Wouldn't you have rather felt like you would have taken the $24 profit right then and not been greedy for another four or five bucks as opposed to losing the whole, you know, 75 or 70, right? Some people say, hey, I'd rather just, I'm right close to max profit there. I'd rather take my money off the table, move on to the next trade, okay? But one of the ways that you really want to manage that is watch the markets because what we didn't see there at first was how the market started to hesitate right here. See that? We just saw the market going down, but you'll, you'll want to watch your charts and see, okay, is the market starting to hesitate? What if the market's going your direction, but then it starts to hesitate? You might want to go ahead and just take that money off the table if you're right there at max profit, right? If it's starting to hesitate and you've only got a few minutes left to expiration, is it worth that risk that it could pop back against you? So always be watching your chart. What is your chart telling you to do, okay? So we talked a little bit about risk versus reward, all right, about how, yes, you might be taking an in the money binary and you might be risking, you know, $70, but you don't have to risk the whole $70. You could set a one to one risk reward ratio and exit when it hits your strike. That way you're risking about 25 to make 25. The other thing that you can do when you're doing these trades, so you know where you might want to exit at the strike, but you can look at these, this Nadex binary ladder. And, you know, and let's just, for example, let's say we were looking at, uh, at one live here. Let's just pull this open because you want to be able to manage your trade. So let's say we were looking at a trade and let's just refresh these. And we were looking at right here. Let's just say that we went in and we had, we were going to go short. Let's just say we were going to go short. So let's say that we had gone in and we had placed this trade right here, okay? And we had placed this trade because we had a setup to go short, all right? And we sold it for about 33. Let's just say that we're gonna, we know that we're gonna exit if it hits our strike, but where do we wanna place our take profit order, okay? Let's say we wanna take a place a take profit order. Well, if we sold it for 33, we wanted to go down as close to, you know, we're we're hoping the market stays down there and it goes down towards zero. We can look here on the strike ladder and notice how the prices go 49, 41, 28, 20, 13, 9, 6. There's not really much past that. You see that? Okay. Now again, this is not a trade recommendation. There was no setup here. This is on demo just kind of showing you how to enter a trade and how to place a take profit order. Okay. So notice that the lowest price here on the strike ladder is about five bucks. So, you know, if that's the lowest price I'm seeing right there, do I want to set my, you know, if I sold it for 33, where do I want to buy it back at? Do I want to put in an order to buy it back at $3? Do you even see a, an offer for $3? No. So, I mean, that, that order would probably just sit there. 
So I'm looking at this saying, all right, I've got $9, $5. All right, maybe I'm going to put my buyback at $6. So I sold it for $33. All I've got to do is click right here on the open order. And notice the ticket already comes up marked buy. Okay, and it's filled in right here at what the current offer price was when I opened the ticket. What I can do is go in here and say, okay, I'm going to set this order to buy it back if it gets five or let's say six dollars. Place order. Notice where that order is. It's down here in working orders. And why is it in working orders? Well, because the market's not at six dollars yet for this strike price, right? The four, this particular 4896.5, 4896.5, it's at 22 right now. So if the market keeps going down and the price gets here to $5, $6, this order will execute. So I would have sold it for 33 and bought it back for six, okay, to make a potential profit of $27. And then I'm going to be, so my take profit order is already set. And then I'm going to be watching this trade to see if it hits my exit, you know, where I want to exit, and then I'll manually close it. So I've got my trade set up there. I've looked at my different options of in-the-money binaries. I've selected which one I want. I've selected how much room and insurance I want to give myself. I've set a take profit order to get me out of profit. And then I'm watching this order um, to manage it to exit, okay, if I want to exit. Now, Let's say that the market does go against me, okay, and I want to exit this order, okay. Well, what I also want to make sure I do after I exit that order is I want to make sure I close out any working orders as well, okay. That way I don't have another working order sitting out there that might get me back into that trade, okay. So just a quick, um, just a quick run through there of some different ways to trade these in the money binaries with Nadex. That's, you know, one setup that I've really looked at quite a bit lately that I really like on these 20 minute binaries is looking for that market to make a push up there and have some exhaustion, and hop in these short trades with these 20 minute binaries, getting a you know, binary up top here, just letting time work in my favor. Okay. And um, for those of you that are not familiar with, or you might be a little bit lost here, of, well, okay, well, what is this in the money and at the money binaries? Well, what you want to do here, hop on over to nadex.com. I'm going to show you where you can get some great information here. Go right here to the Learning Center, because I know we kind of went through this really fast. We've got limited time. Go here to Learning Center and go to Webinar Archive. Okay, I'm going to show you where you can get all the pieces put together here. Right here under Filter by Presenter. Just click this and go to Apex Investing. And this is going to show you some of our past webinars here. Okay. Now, if you're brand, brand new and you don't really know anything about binaries, you're still like, wait a minute, you were way over my head here. I don't even understand the binary. Well, right here is for you, Nadex Binaries 101. Okay. This is a complete webinar that acts like you've never even heard of a Nadex binary or a binary before walks you through exactly what a binary is, how they work, how they're valued. So that's where you want to start, okay? That's your foundation there. Secondly, right above it, choosing the right binary for your strategy, okay? That goes through and talks about the differences of in the money and at the money and out of the money binaries because some of you are looking at this Nadex platform here going, man, I, I'm seeing all these binary, what, what, this is confusing. What is all this? I don't know what to do with this. After you watch those couple of webinars there, it will no longer, um, it will no longer be confusing for you. It'll make perfect sense to you, okay? And one other, if you scroll down, go to page two here, just one other one you might want to check out is right here, in the money and out of the money binary strategies. Those three webinars right there will piece everything together for you. And then you can go back and watch this webinar as well. This webinar should be located here in just a couple days in the same archive section if you want to go back and watch it. So check out those other videos, get your foundation built, rewatch this if you'd like to, uh, help piece it all together, okay? If you have any questions, uh, definitely feel free as well to visit us over at apexinvesting.com. We have a 
ton, we literally hundreds of hours of free education over there. We've got step-by-step -step training courses on binaries and spreads, different strategies and systems, um, some free deviation levels and charting stuff. Submit us a ticket over there. Feel free to ask any questions you have. Uh, we'll be happy to help you out there. Okay, so appreciate everybody joining us today. I know we ran through that uh, pretty fast, and I uh, hope that was some great stuff. Though showed you a couple of different ways there to look at trading the capped risk products within the money.